Okay, here we go. We've got some new towers, and we're going to focus on the air uh, quality, so to speak. We've got some of the flying towers. We've got flying spray, and I believe this is an area damage tower. The flying smasher, which stuns in the stunning category, and we've got damage for the flying cannon. So we've got one in a couple of different categories. And we also have the new flying crusher tower and have the league version. So we're going to go ahead and create that. It is in the anti-underground, uh, that 50% chance to stun the creeps. That's a nice little bonus uh, that we're going to have on that. Uh, the regular version, it does not have the stun. So we're, we're going to jump to the league foil version. We're going to go ahead and create that. This will be my sixth. Uh, league version, so pretty happy about that. Nice. Okay, and we are also going to go ahead and create the missile launcher. Uh, I've played around with that a good bit more, and I really love this tower, guys. Uh, would suggest trying to get this tower if, if you have the ability to. I know this last event there were some shards of it. Uh, the regular version is great. The league version gives that damage of 60% bonus for area damage, but the regular version is, is pretty strong. So if you're looking for some mythic towers, uh, I'd say it's up there in a the list. Um, probably would make the top five. And so now we have two of these. Funny enough, <laughs> I just wasted uh, 5,000 5, silver. I will spam the chat, why not? <laughs> and if you do that by mistake, you of course can go in here and click that and we get the extra one created. Now I'm doing something a little different, guys. I don't suggest doing this if you're playing the game, unless you really love collecting all of the cards. I would highly suggest to simply take this card, hit that star, find the old version, unlock it first, click it, and get those extra levels. Um, and let's see, that would probably get us to 90. I'm sure, and it would 16 levels. Uh, I am kind of saving that. Maybe later in the future, I'll actually have a free card I can waste. But, um, was trying to see if I liked having extra of those before I had one, but I ended up loving the tower so much. I'm just going to go straight to that league version and just keep creating those as well. And as habit, once again, always hit that lock button. Now, as I say that, I think I'm going to simply go ahead and do exactly that for this one because it does take forever to level these mythics up. It's fun. Don't get me wrong, it just takes a long time. So we almost get the full levels, 85 there. And we're going to go ahead and cannibalize that one. Because I am ready to have it. Now I only have one count. I'm getting a lot of yeses and it makes me question my decision. But I know this is what I want. <laughs> I want my League Foil to be level 86 and get that stun and put it in battle immediately. Now we already have the threshold for level 65, so we can go ahead and hit that Evolve button. This will open up all of the rune slots for us. And one thing you want to do before you cannibalize is make sure you take out all of the runes of the previous tower. I'm going to go back and look in my video and see if I did that. <laughs> Hopefully I did. Uh, oh, well, if I didn't, it's too late now. Uh, but one thing I do like to have is one of every tower. So you're going to find it a little <laughs> repetitive. But I'm going to go ahead and spam that chat one more time and have that one in there just because I want one of every card in play if I can have it. And now we have a, a regular level one card. Go ahead and lock that down. We'll get some levels on that just so uh, we have that and we can compare it. And we'll go ahead and play with this tower to see what the new one looks like. And we can still have the old one if we want. And now we have the other three towers we want to go ahead and create as well. So we can use those. And I'll probably just end up 
repurposing these for later. But now we have the flying cannon. Cannonball. And the flying smasher. Art on that looks pretty awesome. Looking forward to seeing what these towers are going to look like. That one might win just by the effect. Looks a lot like the snowball tower. So had that in another video, but we'll we'll try to choose it as well. And the flying spray. Heavy damage. Okay, so now we have a couple of air towers. At level one, they're not going to do anything but look pretty, which is all I really want to see at this point. We'll get some more levels on them and see what they can actually do. And so now we have a couple of these. I think the uh, Colony of Bats is going to be our heavy hitter on this one. We're just going to try to do an all air tower uh, scenario so we can just see what they all look like. Let's find us another PVE battle. Try to find one that has no moles. Come on, no moles, big bucks, no moles. And... We have a healing tower. I mean, a, a healing wolf. But it's level 90. Our colony of bats alone can probably handle him. Ghost might run through. <laughs> might want to look at this map and see. Uh, but let's go ahead and build our towers. Let's sort by rarity. I definitely want to get that stunning tower in there. You know, those two alone might be able to carry us through this. So They are pretty powerful towers in the mythic world. And let's see, what other towers are we missing? Now we've got Snowball. We'll throw it on there for now as we scroll down. We've got Sky Eye. Can't forget about that one. That one can move. That's a pretty cool bonus feature of it. I think only two towers, Colony of Bats and Sky Eye, can actually move. And we've got the Flying Electric Tower. I had already created that, so I forgot to mention that one. So there we go, right there on that row. That should knock out all the Flying Towers. There we go, we got Sky Burner in the... Uh, epic area. That one does a lot of damage when you're leveling up. And those Fleetles at 90, they become a little bit of a pain, so you can try to get them stuck in a corner under a sky runner. It burns them down quick until you get some uh, better towers to handle them. And I just want to see if that's everything. Oh, I think uh, UFO I probably scrolled over that one. So we've got two more uh, we can go through. So I'll try to share those off as well in the next video. Let's go ahead and get these uh, these rocking. We should be able to knock this out. We've got a level 89. Uh, let's wonder if I should slow things down, possibly. We'll pause things, possibly, with that one. And that should be fine. So let's... Oh, I'll show the, the awesome effect of this as well. Good thing we brought our sky. <laughs> That's why you want to preview. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to pass on this one because you, you're not really going to be able to see those towers. And that's kind of the point. So let's go ahead and exit. And let's see what we have on this one. Probably should hit that preview button. No moles. And we have the Witch Doctor again. And... Okay, we should be fine. And it's <laughs> probably one of the worst ones to have flying towers, as we can't block anything. But uh, <laughs> why not? We uh, we'll <laughs> good grief that range. That is that is great. Um, well, we know they're going to go straight under here, right? So this is probably a great place to try to stun them in their place. Don't have any runes on this, so it's it's a little small right now. It's not going to be boosted by aim, so we're not going to get a lot of damage out of these. But we're going to just play anyway. Try to get through a couple of levels, so you can see. I put these in the back just to make sure nothing gets through. And let's go ahead and get 11 on there. Go ahead and get that going. Good thing I brought my tornado for this this match, considering we, we already have one in here as well, right? 
Okay, so let's speed this up a bit, and we're going to see what happens. Yeah, that colony of bats is just destroying. It doesn't even have time for this tower to go off. Let's move them back a little bit and see if we can see some stomping action. And they die before they even get stunned. Or do they get stunned and then die? That's so quick. <laughs> you actually get to see that one. So, What is it saying? Uh, so we saw it when you upgraded it, it looks like it was only damage that was increased. So it doesn't tell us right there, but it'll be 50% with a 1% reduction each each hit. Now those ghosts, they won't actually be stunned. Uh, if you're having trouble with those, use that purifier. It removes the immunity. Yeah, pretty nice tower. Definitely going to love this mythic. <laughs> Lots of leveling up there. <laughs> Lucky number 13 and 31. Reverse it. Okay, so... All right, now that we've had a little bit of fun with that, before we get too far along, let's let's throw uh, the the sky eye. If you haven't seen that yet, look at that range. You throw that on a a tower there, and you get 9.2. And when you do that, you get 10. Um, so we're gonna move it out of that range, and I think I, I have it at 6.3. I'm sure I could probably throw some stronger runes, but look at that little circle. That's that's most of the board. And if it's not, you move it. And if you really want. You can have two of those things. But we want to see, so let's put it down here, uh, very small. So hopefully we'll be able to see it hit some things. Now we want it to, we're going to put it right here. And you can just kind of see the lightning as uh, some of those targets go underneath. It's pretty cool. Definitely uh, needs to get some more power runes in that thing. 80% uh, chance of ignoring armor is nice, uh, but it just gives DPS on the upgrade. Hey guys, so funny thing, uh, had to pause the game. Came back and my microphone was dead, so... There was a lot of me talking and nothing coming out. So I'm going to re-record some audio to this video as I play along in the past, so to speak. And we were talking about the Flying Lightning Tower. And I don't have runes in there, so that's why these, these things are so short and you can't really actually see the effect, unfortunately, uh, until they come out of just the right side. But you'll see some nice lightning splash down. Uh, when they do come out. You can see it there a couple of times as well. Looks pretty awesome. Definitely a, a cool effect on that one. It is it is a pretty neat one. I'd like to level that up. See uh, see what that looks like a little bit more. And we've got several different ones to try out here, uh, so it's uh, a bit different to difficult to remember which one I did. But basically, the flying cannon uh, actually drops cannonballs, so it has to be set uh, in that spot and deal splash damage. So that's that's a pretty cool thing. If you put it in the middle there, it'll catch everything that goes in between. And it's hard to get the hard to get the effect on that one a little bit because uh, it is in between two towers there. Uh, so I probably should uh, re redo that to get a better visual. Um, as you can see, it is only a DPS upgrade. And I have to say, I, I am really enjoying that that stun effect of the mythic tower. Um, I, after I did this video, I, I found uh, how hilarious it was to to be doing a uh, flying video tower, and here I am up talking a anti underground tower in the process. So I do find the irony in that uh, at this point. <laughs> 
Now the flying spray, um, I think uh, the flying spray actually ends up being a, a really cool uh, tower that I ended up placing here. Um, the visual on it may may win out. Now overall the colony of bats, if you look at that when it's pausing, that, that sweet glisten, that the just shine that just comes off of that tower, uh, a lot of a lot of thought went into that with the bat spinning around. I think it might win the the coolest looking tower. Uh, it it's pretty sweet. The spray tower actually has a very fast spray rate. Uh, realized it looks like it that fire rate is really high. I wanted to go back and actually check and see how fast it fires because when you put it in a times four. Uh, it's, it's just a constant just glow on the screen. It's actually a really cool effect. You can see how fast it's shooting just at normal speed. Looks like it shoots in 10 directions. I'm, I'm sure it's uh, hitting pretty much everything within its range. And of course, the funny part of, about having all flying towers is you, you can't block the creep's path if they decide they want to go in a different direction. So <laughs> and... Uh, as well, this one is just a DPS upgrade. And there you see it at, at times four. It's a pretty cool visual for that one as well. They all have some pretty cool visuals. It's, it's almost tough in a way to decide which ones are actually the coolest because uh, definitely a lot of time was spent developing uh, each tower and, and the effects that it does when it hits something. Now I've showed the snowball tower off in some previous videos. Uh, basically you cannot trap it in so to speak so it's perfect for these type of videos. Uh, because it actually drops the snowball as you see and it goes towards the closest entrance So if there are two as you can see, it's just gonna go to the closest one Of course you can alter that by putting in some different towers and making the other one further if it's not going to the one you want Just be careful you it's great on these type of maps if you put it on a map where it's on a square Not on the pathway. It, it doesn't actually do anything So it's it's built for these type of and it needs a path back to the entrance so to speak on the square that you build it on and uh, that tornado just wrecked all of my towers <laughs> good grief um, that's what happens when you don't have any runes and <laughs> yeah this hit, even hit point runes and look at the colony of bats are they're just like laughing at it they're like but look at that effect though. that's pretty cool that dark dark glow effect um, I actually chose that spell just to show that off funny enough and <laughs> luckily the uh, the tornado is just beating me to the punch, so to speak. Now, if you look at the snowball, it's, it actually turns them blue. Uh, you'll, if they last long enough before they die, you'll actually see them have a little chill effect to them. So that snowball does give give the slow effect going. And same thing when you upgrade it, it's just a DPS upgrade. And I, I do really enjoy that that snowball tower effect this, just seeing a snowball just hit a whole bunch of things at once it doesn't seem like it's a lot but if you think about it hitting every single enemy and doing that damage you put an aim tower behind that and it you know it could probably actually do some uh, decent damage and the flying smasher is of the same type as the snowball I, I have come to realize if you see it have a very little range basically same thing you just want it to make sure it has a path back to a gateway so that way it's actually going to shoot the the stones out and just so that you can actually see the visual better I went ahead and deleted that snowball but look at that that stone that's a pretty cool effect <laughs> it's I think I like that one better than the snowball as far as the actual tower but I think I love seeing a snowball just go down a hill something funny about seeing all of our enemies get plowed through by a big snowball coming at them <laughs> and 
and for comparison between the two, they look like little birds, just you know, angry birds just flying up there in space, just <laughs> throwing throwing little balls at the at the towers. I mean, <laughs> that's basically what Angry Birds was, right? It was just destroying a, a tower, so to speak, as well. So so they've migrated <laughs> into the tower defense world. couldn't quite tell what the stone effect was if it was turning it blue when they hit or not so I'm not sure if you're if you're watching this if you're able to kind of go back and watch and see if it does that but I know with the snowball it turned them blue so I might do the same with the with the other as well perhaps not if it, if it just stuns And there's that tornado effect. So you can see that colony of bats uh, just looks looks really sick when it's uh, all dark with the red in there. It's a really cool effect. Now, there's an electric tower. Uh, if you get the one on the ground, uh, if you can put that actually behind the colony of bats, where it's just a square or two behind the colony of bats, and then have the uh, tornado league tornado version in front of it, You'll get these lightning sparks to shoot out when when it hits all these enemies, and it's probably one of the coolest visuals uh, I think I've actually seen in the game. It's just tons of lightning all around. It just looks like this colony, this floating tower up in the air, is just destroying everything. I might have to try to try to recreate that at some point in the video. <laughs> Level 21. If you were betting on blackjack, that was the perfect bet right there. Just barely under. 22 and that was showed off a couple of the towers so I think there were two more there was a the flying saucer and sky burner uh, so want to try to get those in this video as well so that we just cover all of the uh, looks I guess it would be 10 flying towers at this point in the game and I need to point out and I, I wish I had planned this a little more I actually can't have both of these towers in the game at the same time uh, all the flying towers only Skyburner and UFO are a direct path upgrade so to speak so you can't have the sky burner and the ufo at the same time if you try to click on it you'll notice it'll take it out um, and i'm showing the league sky version in this one i do have the regular but we're going to show that league version at this time the the first flying tower i actually had was the sky burner i did love that tower because as you'll learn when you have uh, flying towers that you can put them in pathways and still not block a path that's why you can't use the block a path runes in these type of tires they'll disappear but uh, that that was one of the first towers I think I got around the time I first saw my my first fleetle um, didn't quite know how to deal with those I think I might have had a, a hive at that point maybe a weak hive but it definitely helps if you fear some fleetles. They'll they'll turn in circles for a while. If you can throw a flying tower such as this UFO over top of it, uh, it will actually burn them down until um, you have perhaps a, a stronger hive or a colony of bats or other stronger anti-air towers. Now, I love the, the visual of the UFO. It just, <laughs> that's, that's just the coolest thing. Is it beaming up or beaming down? It just, it looks so cool. It turns everything red because it's doing a burning effect. So if you have a problem with the zombies or, or ghouls, for that matter, uh, these towers that can end that, especially if you can get them near that, that start. Uh, it gets that dot on there that keeps them from being able to resurrect or, or leave a, a graveyard behind. And it's great for fast enemies as well because uh, it is a very fast firing rate. So you can see this ghost just, they can't sneak past it. Whereas, you know, if you're a volcano just t being too slow or they can run over it really quickly, uh, they're done. So I did like that UFO. It's got a good bit of range on there. You can see that it's probably 50% bigger than what the Skyburner will actually be. And I th 
I probably have runes on both of these, but they're probably still about equal of what they'd be by default. The Skyburner can kind of bleed over into some other other squares to, to help you out a good bit there. Uh, if you can find a uh, range anomaly to put those on, it, it helps a good bit. But as you can see, if you get a couple of runes, you're going to have no problem uh, with that. I think by default it's 1.2 range, so 1.2 on here. And it doesn't need to cover the whole square. If it gets into that square, anything in that square will, will be hit. That is one thing I love about Colony of Bats. and They definitely make these uh, videos a bit easier because you can place them and then move them out of the way. Move them where you need them. Only the Sky Eye would be the only other tower that you can actually move. And that's for all the towers, not just flying. And they have the burn effect with, with Skyburner as well. It does some great damage. Um, I have to say I'm, I'm not using it anymore now that I have a, a, t a bunch of Mythic Towers and even League Mythic Towers. Uh, but it was definitely a great tower in a leveling process. Um, that's at least uh, because it, you, you'll start to notice when you hit 90, the uh, Fleetles are a bit of a problem. It's hard to deal with flying enemies. And you don't want to get overloaded with your ground enemies now. So knowing that everything is hit that goes underneath, if you can find a way to stun under that spot, it, it definitely helps. And once again, if you, if you have stones, it, remember, it only goes to the closest one. But that is a really cool effect to see that stun. Try to get it stuck under there. You can see <laughs> he, he was getting stuck there for a split second every time the rock would hit him in the face. And so that's what we 